Hey there, welcome to Solve My Math Homework. We are the YouTube channel that solves only the math problems our subscribers send in. And so today we have an integration problem and I've labeled it integration by parts and we will use integration by parts, but let's talk about why we will. So we have the integral of 4x times one plus x to the third power. And when we're looking to see if we're gonna use u substitution or if we're going to use parts, we usually look for something and its derivative. So if the derivative of one plus x to the third were the other expression, or if the derivative of four x were the other expression, we would use u substitution. But we don't have any derivative pairs, so we're not going to use u substitution. And when that doesn't work, we are likely using integration by parts. So remember that the integration by parts formula is u times v minus the integral of v du. And to do this, we have to assign u and dv. So we have to assign u first, and we usually say, let u be the portion that would be easier to deal with if it were the derivative of that expression instead of that expression. Okay, after we do that, we are going to have u and dv identified because whatever is not u will be the dv portion. Then we'll calculate du, so we'll derive what we identified as u, and we'll integrate dv to get v. All right, then we'll plug it into the formula and we'll simply just evaluate and add a constant at the end. All right, before we even look at this, before we say, all right, which part is going to be u and which part's going to be dv, we have this four that's multiplied throughout here. It's multiplied right here. We call this a constant multiplier because it's a constant that's being multiplied. And we don't need to deal with that. So before we even look at both portions and identify u, we're gonna remove that constant multiplier by factoring it out. When you do this, don't forget you have to multiply it through at the end. So you're going to get four times the integral of x times the quantity one plus x to the third. And now that is what we're going to deal with. All right, so we're gonna let u be the portion that would be easier to deal with as its derivative. Well, let's look at both parts. The derivative of x is one dx. That is pretty easy. So I'm thinking we're probably gonna let u be x. But let's look at the other portion. The derivative of one plus x to the third, remember that involves chain rule. So it'd be three times one plus x to the second times the derivative of what's inside, so one. That's not easy. It's not any easier than one plus x to the third. So for sure, that's not the way we're gonna go. We are going to let u be x. If we let u be x, du is one dx, and therefore dv is going to be the other portion. dv is going to be one plus x to the third. So to get to v, remember we integrate because this is the derivative of v, that's what dv stands for. So we're going to integrate to be get back to v. So remember basic integration, we are going to raise the exponent by one and then divide by that new exponent. And instead of dividing by four, I'm going to put one fourth out front. So I raised the exponent of three to four and multiplied by one fourth. Now I have every single thing I need, except maybe room on the screen. So let's get me some more room on the screen. There we go. And now we're going to plug into the integration by parts formula and evaluate. So uv minus the integral of v du. I'm just gonna plug everything in and see where it lands. Remember I have the four on the outside. I don't wanna lose that. So my u is my x, so there's that. V is one fourth times the quantity one plus X to the fourth. So I have U times V minus the integral of V DU. And DU is just DX. We're not going to put the times one because that wouldn't change anything. All right, just like we pulled the constant multiplier out of this integral, we are going to pull it out of this integral. This one fourth, we're just gonna bring it to the outside of the integration bar. And when we do that, we are also going to multiply this one fourth in X. We're gonna clean up the left side, but we're gonna leave the rest of the left side alone until I've done my integration. All right, so now I have multiplied one fourth in X. I've pulled one fourth out. I'm just going to go ahead and integrate one plus X to the fourth DX. And that's really easy. Remember, we're using the basic integration property. We're going to raise the exponent to the fifth and multiply by one fifth and rewrite everything. All right, so we do that. Notice nothing here has changed. None of this has changed. The only thing that's changed is in red. I lost my integration bar because I have integrated, right? So the integral of one plus x to the fourth is one fifth times one plus x to the fifth. 
We are going to clean this up. We're going to distribute the four. We're going to add our constant. We're going to do all of that. But first, let me get some more room for myself. All right, now let's clean this up. We're going to multiply 1 fourth times 1 fifth, and we're going to get 1 20th. There we go. Now we're going to multiply, simplify again. We are going to multiply that 4 throughout. So 4 times 1 fourth is 1, so we are going to go ahead and cancel my 4s. 4 times 1 20th, well, 4 goes into 25 times, so we're going to have a 5 in our denominator. All right, now let's see what we've got because it's a little ugly. Let's just clean it up over here. We have x times 1 plus x to the 4th minus 1 fifth times 1 plus x to the 5th. All we have to do is add a constant c, and we are done. So we get x plus 1 plus x to the 4th minus 1 fifth times the quantity 1 plus x to the 5th plus c, because there are an infinite number of expressions that will satisfy this integral, because you could add a constant, any constant to it, and you would still be correct. There you have it. That is integration by parts. A little worse than you substitution, but not too bad once you get used to it. If you have questions, you should be subscribed to our YouTube channel. It exists for you to send those questions to us, and we'll make you a nice video, and then you'll know how to do your homework, and life will be better. Till next time, take it easy.